we ended up trying four different types of nappies. So I'm gonna start with my least favorite of the four nappies. So this is a Natty nappy. Uh, Natty are a biodegradable brand. Um, I do kind of see them everywhere now. So I, I've seen them in, I definitely see them in Tesco's. I think I've seen them in Boots, like other big supermarkets as well. And you can get them on a car dose. And I'd heard really mixed reviews. Some people were like, they fit really well, they're really good. They pretty much guarantee no nappy rash. Um, and they felt more natural to me than the other nappies, like less plastic. But the shape fits really badly. And basically the problems that we had, we had a lot of leakage, particularly at the top of the back. Um, just pee and poop. So it was like nothing was staying in. Um, which was a bit annoying because I bought couple of bags of them, I thought they'd be the nappy we used. Um, the tabs are pretty standard, so there's nothing really major that can go wrong there. It just, they, they're quite wide to get between little one's legs, and then you sort of end up with this sort of achy back bit. Um, they're very square, they're very, I mean you hold it out, there's not, it, I mean it literally is like a, an A4 piece of paper. Um, the design was cute. I feel like I should give it some some good good features as well. The design was cute, but other than that, not not particularly impressed. Yeah, lots of leakage. Won't be buying it again. So yeah, definitely like a zero out of ten. Like would not recommend these at all. My sort of second least favourite, so third place, uh, would be the Pampers. Um, there's actually not in like quality, design, fit, leakage, everything, there's not much difference between them and the next ones that I'm gonna do, which are the Aldi Mamas are my number two. And um, it's just that they're a lot more expensive for something that is pretty much the same. They're fairly standard, fairly standard tabs. Um, they've got this line, which is great, the Natties didn't have this, they've got this line that goes blue when they pee. The downside is it's a tiny bit of pee can set it off. So that's not. You, you can find yourself changing nappies, you don't need to be changing really. But anyway, that's the, that's the pampers. Um, they're pretty good, so maybe like a seven, a seven. Um, but for me, they need to be biodegradable to go any higher than that really. So if you're not if you're not worried about biodegradable, then maybe an eight. Um, but that's my number three, is the pampers. Uh, so then we come on to the third nappy, which is my second place. Uh, which is the Aldi Mamia. Um, their whole range of baby stuff has, is, is getting really good reviews at the moment. Um, they come in, they're by far the cheapest, they're £1.15 for 24 nappies, um, according to my Google search, um, which makes them £4.08 a nappy. So you've got it's like six pence difference per nappy. Um, then um, the Pampers, the Natty nappies were £4.26, so they were and were terrible so I just don't I don't know why Natty is still still trading as a company like it's crazy um, so yeah the Aldi ones um, for 4.8 pence um, which feels a bit of a bargain like I think we would be using these if I wasn't worried about like the biodegradable thing um, I mean obviously the biodegradable nappies there is they do say you're less likely to get nappy rash with them so maybe I'd probably mix the two together a bit more Again, they've got the yellow line, which is really good. The rest of it's fairly standard. Uh, we didn't tend to get many leakage, actually any leakage really, until we got to the edge of where we should have gone into size two. So that's more sizing as opposed to like the size we had as opposed to a problem with the nappy. Just make sure you've got the right size. That seems to be quite key is um, if you're getting a lot of leakage and you're not using natty nappies, um, then maybe you need to go up a size. But otherwise quite like with, with those. So now we come on to the final nappy. Um, these are Kit and Kin. So this is a um, company endorsed by or started by Emma Bunton. Oh, these look exciting. I love these nappies, to be honest. Um, I mean, you compare like the size of that there, it's like so much narrower. So it's a much, much nicer fit for her. They've got these super cute little things on the back. So we went for the Panda. There's four different patterns and you pick which one you want. So we went for the panda. We have, this is a size 2 nappy but there's a tiger as well. 
and, and then there's also a fox and a monkey, but I'm not as keen on the fox or the monkey. I do think it's too are the cutest. Found the tags really good. It's really, it fits really nicely across the back. There's a really nice shape to it. I just haven't had any leakage issues. Um, we haven't had any nappy rash. Um, they just feel more natural, more soft. Um, they're biodegradable, which really helps as well. They have the labels have good grip on the front as well and tags around. So she has a little, we called it a panda bun. I'm gonna put your panda bun on. And I bought these little frilly knickers for when she had dresses on and um, I didn't want to put them on because I thought the panda looked really cute and they never got worn and she's grown out of them. But these I think are brilliant. The downside being is the price. Uh, these work out at 18.7 pence a nappy. They are a really new brand um, and as they become more popular I'm sure that will go down. Like They're not in soup pockets or anything, Like the only place I found to buy them is on their website. And that price does include you signing up for subscription. So they would be $9.99 for a pack of 40. If you sign up for a sort of monthly subscription, they drop down to $29.99 for 160 so you get four packs. So it's basically it's 25% off, so you're getting a pack for free. But that pack for free brings it down to 18.7 pence a nappy, um, which is fairly steep considering my next best one is 4.8 pence like 14 pence extra but it's biodegradable and the difference of 500 years to biodegrade and I think they say three to six years to biodegrade and um, it's, it's just a no, kind of a no-brainer I would like to leave a planet for my child to enjoy or her children to enjoy my great great grandkids to enjoy um, and I know we're going to go through a lot of nappies but it's only a couple of years um, rather that we were doing a tiny bit, like a tiny bit, to make a tiny bit of difference. And um, they're super cute, I mean, super, super cute. Um, so they are by far my favourite, not not just because of the biodegradable, but also because of the fit, um, and the fact she's not getting any nappy rash. So we've signed up for a subscription now, um, and we've had our first two like month orders arrive. Um, one due and it was really easy I just emailed them and I was like can we change our subscription from a one to a two and from a pack to a box and they just sorted it out and um, it was really good the delivery was really good that's the kit and pin 18.7 pence a nappy but for me it's like a nine out of ten absolutely love these so I hope that's been helpful um sorry if I've rambled a little bit and um, blaming that um, I'm blaming that um, do comment below if you've got any other questions that you'd like to ask um, and I'll put the links to the kit and kin, my favourite nappies, in down below. Um, do connect with us on social media, uh, we are on all the stuff um, and hopefully see you soon.